quite exquisite from a form point of view, and we have at least two genera uh, generational growth of malachite. Now, first of all, we'd look, I'd look at it like this, where you have almost a botryoidal formation. Of course, the botryoids are made up of tiny, tiny needles of the malachite. Um, here we go. Uh, malachite is, uh, many may say malachite is poisonous, but it's, it's not meant for ingestion or, or too much contact. So, uh, specimens in essence are mainly for display. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, crumble this one and drink it or whatever the case may be, or even eat it. Um, but I have had some very, very odd write-ups about malachite. Perhaps uh, those who have a short supply of malachite who have bad things to say about this material. But it's actually stable, very aesthetic, a lovely, lovely dark green, lovely form on this particular one. Where you have almost little bushes of the malachite sitting in between the larger botroids, which of course are made up of of solid malachite as well, almost forming into a botryoidal formation. Now at the back here we have almost the the malachite which has replaced barite uh, a formation which I found from time to time from Mashamba West. Patterning wise there seems to be a little bit of patterning on, on some of the malachite across there. A little bit of a satiny effect as well as you can see here. So really a lovely aesthetic specimen. All the way from uh, Mashamba West in the Katanga copper mines of the Congo. Oh, those would be maybe the Barat running through the, the Malakat here. That's pretty accurate from a color point of view. Very, very difficult to photograph it. It almost appears black and there you can see the lovely, lovely dark green.